I feel like I'm... I'm Bruce Wayne, and I'm going through some changes. Slowly, I'm becoming... I'm becoming... I am Batman. It's very fun to take a, an iconic character like Batman and and kind of play with the rules uh, that have always been there for him. Um, you know, keep it consistent in terms of him being good at what he does um, and kind of having that sort of uh, bravado and machismo, but at the same time making him a little more flawed uh, and a little, a little bit goofier. You think you're my greatest enemy? Yes! You're obsessed with me! <laughs> no, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are! The Joker himself is a, is a great villain um, because he's unpredictable and wild and somewhat clever and somewhat witty, but sometimes he's not. So uh, he's a great, great villain. I definitely used my body quite a lot. I think they had a camera on me at times because I, I came in, I had I brought my own Batman outfit. Like I would very much get into it. But um, yeah, it's really amazing to watch how they just, to, to have a performance that is so collaborative. You know, because when I watch it later, like seeing like some of the playback that would happen, and you just see like she'd just do a pose or something that was just like, oh, okay, that really just sold the whole thing. And I don't know, it's really amazing. It's just, uh, it's a really fun process. Yeah, I gotta tell you, it's pretty cool. Um, when they first told me that I got to play Batman, I, I don't think I really understood what that would mean. Um, and now, a couple years into it, I'm like, wow, I get to actually voice Batman. Your city is under attack by Gotham's greatest criminal mind. Oh, I love doing voiceover work. It's, you know, you have to channel everything into that one area of performance. And I, I just like anything that I can kind of focus hard on. Hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. I, uh, I saved the city again today. I think you would have been really proud. <laughs>